All three of our oldest boys went to Rainier Prep. One of them is still here. And, you know, we took that leap of faith. When we were going through regular public school education, um, that was seemed like it was just get them in, get them out kind of uh, thought process. Whereas here, from day one, it was always like, you know, college is the next step after you graduate high school. That was one of the main reasons we chose this school for the boys. My husband and I didn't attend college, and neither have any other um, family members. When students enter in fifth grade, uh, Rainer Prep is very intense because we are envisioning every student as a future college student. I think that for some families, college might mean opportunities. It might mean uh, changing the narrative of what life can provide. The fifth grade experience for the boys was challenging coming in. Coming from like a public school, it's it's hard to adapt to a school like Rainier Prep where they really expect a lot from you and challenge you a lot more. Previously, I didn't have too much homework or assignments. And then I remember as soon as I got into fifth grade, I remember the first week we got like overloaded with assignments. And at the time I was like, man, you know, this is a lot. It's so funny because all three of them went through the same thing. I remember even with Christian this year, fifth grade year, saying, this is too much, too challenging, too much homework. In the beginning of the fifth grade year, it takes a lot longer for students to get that homework done. But by the time they get through the middle of the, of the year, they realize, oh, homework is actually doable. I have built habits and I have built norms at my house to be able to, to have strong study skills. And I know that it's also due in partnership to family support. It's all been a great experience for us. And we know that these guys push the children to exceed uh, their limits that they believe that they have. Coming into the school, I wasn't too much of a scholar. And then I built, you know, for example, my love for books, it expanded over that time. And my love for English as well. And I got the support I needed, so I was prepared for high school. I feel like I'm very dedicated, motivated, hardworking because of my parents, uh, the school, expecting a lot and knowing what I'm capable of. His other brothers have always been the scholarly type who, when told once this is the assignment or this is the expectation, they meet it from the first try. Christian takes more tries, but he gets there. Um, it takes him a little bit more effort to get the work done or to process um, some of the expectations, but eventually he gets there. When Rainier Prep started for me fifth grade, I would have a hard time uh, starting on my homework and sometimes I would get frustrated but my dad helped me and I guess I started getting better. He's been challenged and he's getting there like he's he's been pushed by teachers right to do better. I'm yeah. really proud of you. Uh, they help uh, stimulate these children's minds and it's it's amazing you know and I see it firsthand every day on my children and um, how independent they are and how just determined they are to succeed in life. So today I'm going to O'Day High School in downtown Seattle. Um, I'm currently a junior, class of 2023. Coming into O'Day, I really felt like I was far more ahead of most kids in most classes because of how uh, challenged I was here. I think families want to ensure that their students have choices and access in their futures. And Rainier Prep is definitely the school to, one, let students know what their choices can be with the power of education. And two, making sure that community and families are part of that process. Everything that we've experienced is honestly just the best, what you want from a school, what you want from a community. I see all of them attending a four-year college. Everybody has the power to do something, but it's about how you, how you approach it and how you apply it to the world. So I feel like, you know, I'm on a mission right now. I'm just thankful for everything I've been through, every experience, every up and every down, because it's, you know, it's, it's made me who I am today. I just hope that, uh, you know, that they, they find something that they want to do 
and that they have a passion for and that they just pursue that like 100%, you know, and I want to see them. <laughs> uh, I want to see them succeed for sure. <laughs> I just want them to be happy to pursue their dreams. That's it. And I think, you know, with the support that they continue to get from the school, from us, our family, you know, I just want them to know that they can do anything that they want to do for sure. <laughs>